Hi Libra, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. It's like, wow, right? 2019, we are at the end of a decade. And I am going to tell you the energy is really solid for 2020 to, to be so much, so much better to balance our lives out to also gain a lot of closure on the karmic cycles that have ended and have now officially many of us moved on out of so many lessons through, you know, we've learned, we've gained so much insight and wisdom. We are now able to close the karmic cycles for good and heal not only us, but heal our ancestors too that have come before us, right? Because that's what it's all about. It's about one generation trying to help another, right? Moving through that so we can all heal as a planet. Okay, the theme for the month of December for all signs is the star. Know that through the either, whatever your faith is, this is not about religion as it is belief of the star of David the star of Bethlehem, whatever it is that you believe in, your faith, let that be your guiding light. And then take that guiding light and let you shine and let that be the light for the world to see. Because we have many have closing up 2019 as all these lessons of and wisdom that has happened for us all, right? Be be proud and of where you've where you're at right now on your journey. Okay? Be proud. It's there's much to be grateful for and thankful for, but also proud of the lessons that you've learned so that you can shine your light for others to see. This is all about infinite love, right? The love of the universe, the love that we are healed now, at least and a new decade begins, right? With new lessons and the journey never ends. It's about the journey, right? I've said that many times. It, there is no destination. The destination is in infinite love of self, right? Okay, let's go. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Shine your light bright. All right, let me move the camera down so we can, you can see the cards come out. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Remember, this is not about religion. It's about faith. Even if you don't have a belief system, that means that you don't, you know, even if you don't believe in anything, it's still a belief system. You choose to believe in nothing, right? Or, you know, whatever it is. Okay? There's no judgments. Only love. Okay, let's go. Libra, sun, moon, and rising, and Venus. I don't know. I, I saw this at the bottom of the deck, and I was like, okay. Are we forgiving ourselves? Are, have we forgiven ourselves? Have we forgiven others? Are we finishing, wrapping up the cycle of the last month of the year, needing to forgive ourselves and others for whatever, whatever this means to you. Forgiveness is, there's a wide, you know, there's a wide span of forgiveness, mostly of self though, is what I'm seeing because there's only one person in this card. Let's just see. Forgiving a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or being forgiven by a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Unless you have this in your chart, Libra. If you do have water in your chart, then it is forgiving self. With a lot of water, let's say. You know, a lot of your um, planets are in water signs. If not, it is an external water sign that you are forgiving or is you are being forgiven. 
spiritually knowing that you are charging ahead now. Okay, so this is what this means. Now that the forgiveness has happened, Cancer Pisces Scorpio here, Libra, or you have forgiven a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, you are now charging ahead. You're charging ahead. You're going up that way. You're charging ahead. If there is no water or an external water sign to you, that means you're using your intuition and your heart center to charge ahead into another paradigm shift that literally you're going into. This is your spirit of truth card. The chariot is all white, right? The card is all blue coming out of the depths of your emotions and now charging ahead into a whole new realm of understanding of how you're going to move now through your life. You're moving with a huge intuitive knowledge, emotional clarity, I hear, and strength. Clarity and strength in your spiritual belief system. Your faith. Your faith. Your faith is strong. You are strong. Nothing can hold you back now, Libras. Not anyone, especially not fear. Right? You're charging ahead, taking the, listen, taking the reins of any fear-based mentality, and you're saying, no, not having it. I'm not, I'm not going there. I'm not looking back. I'm not looking back. The forgiveness, the forgiveness has happened. Don't look back, Libras. There's nothing to look back. Only charge ahead. Only charge ahead. Do not look back. Follow your spirit. Follow your spirit guide. You're being guided. You're going, to, you're going to be learning how to do that. You're going to be showing others how to get out of fear-based mentality into spirit mentality. You're going to show others how to do this because you have attained this, this knowledge. This, you, have, you have attained it. You are the light. You are the star. So you are going to be leading the way for others to get past a time that was a long process. This was a long process, not to look back, not to go back, not to be in fear mode. And you have successfully, successfully charged ahead. Your spirit guides have all helped you get past this. And you are going to be now leading the way, strong in faith and spirit for all to see and to learn from you, right? Seek, seeking to be the light for all to see, to learn how to get past this fears, the fears, the negativities, the ego, how to surpass this. This is what you're doing. You're doing it so that others can learn from you. You have attained. You have achieved. You have achieved this one cup. What is it? That cup of love. This is the love that you want now. This is not looking back, right? These cups are not the cups that you want. The cup that you want and that you have achieved and are going after is the one cup coming down from the heavens. Self-love. Self-love. No more, no more illusions of grandeur. Right? The cups, these cups are spilled. So, these cups got spilled out, and the one coming from the universe is the one that you seek. This is the one that you're seeking. You're looking up to the heavens saying, okay, I'm here. I'm doing my work. I'm not going back into my past. 
I'm not going back. I have forgiven. I have forgiven because this is how it looks on the board. I have forgiven all who have not been able to show me the love that I rightfully deserve. It's no one's judge. This is not about judging anyone. This is about slow and steady and learning. You're going to teach others how not to look back, how to forgive, how to shine the light and be the light so that you can make better choices. You have gone through this. So now you are going to be charging ahead and showing others the same. They're going to be learning the lessons through you. And that's how it works, right? That's how the universe works. You have to go through it. You have to live it and breathe it. And then you charge ahead to show others the way. You have been helped by spirit without question. The bottom of the deck, out of your head. No more fear-based mentality. The Palace of Swords is your ego, right? This is your ego. We're done with that. We have forgiven the ego, and now we're all about the heart. Oh, yeah. Those who were trying to get away with something, Libras, in your life, uh-uh, is not happening. People were trying to take advantage. No doubt about it. Maybe you don't know what it is, but it's being forgiven. You are being guided. You've walked away from this mental anguish, the ego. You've walked away from fear-based mentality. And you've been guided by spirit. That's beautiful. Oh yeah, now you get the cup. So this is a progression, right? Here's the cup, right? Here's the progression. Let me show you. Getting out of your ego, all the swords, right? Putting all the swords down. The ego is gone now. The fears are gone. Fears of others trying to take advantage of the Libras, not happening. It's not possible now, why? Because you're now in your heart center and your spirit guides are showing you the way forward so that you can share and show the light for others to see. Your need to get this one cup, this is the cup the universe is give, gifting you with. This is your gift for December. You've walked away from everything that did not serve you and when you do that, Libras, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, when you charge ahead and you don't look back and you allow the universe to gift you, this is what you get. You get true love, self-love, compassionate love. This is the cup. This is the one everyone is searching for. And it's going to happen. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could be an external Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn coming in for the Libras. Here it is. This is also about quality. My Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn card, this king, for me, is all about quality quality and and healing and growth and this this king is in charge of his own destiny this king makes things happen this king is going to give you this cup i don't know you you can tell me who that is the king is going to balance you out now because the king of pentacles also is about grounding. And we as air signs need that grounding. 
So the bond between earth and air is significant for the every breath that we take. I mean, not to get too deep with it, but it is. We need the grounding because we're the, around, the surrounding energy of air. And we need that, that let's, get, let's get back down to earth, mother earth, right? To ground us and to balance us finally. We're leveling up. We're moving forward. We're charging ahead. And our perception of what we once thought has completely changed, which is a good thing. Because now we're charging ahead with new vision. We have a new vision of what our life is going to be. And the universe is gifting you with this cup. And this is the cup right here. This comes from the universe. This could be the true love that you've been searching for. If you are with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn already paired up in a relationship, then this is your person. You're being guided now. You're leveling up. There's no more fear-based mentality. No more people trying to, to get, you know, any, anything past you. It's just not going to happen. It's not. They're reversed. Fear, the ego, done. Done. Victory. You will shine your light, Libras, for all to see. You are going to have this experience so that others can learn from you. Not only others, but your ancestors are healing their situations also, okay, they're healing in the same way that you have. It's getting dark now, but we're not worried because, <laughs> you know, like I'm all in white here. White is a beautiful color. I love it. I love black too, but anyway, the, the issue is in the darkest of dark nights, right, the star always shines and you cannot take anything away from that star. The light always shines. It's always shining, right? You are always shining your light for others to see, no matter what. So Libras, you've sacrificed a lot, right? All right, let's get down to it because before it gets too dark and I don't have my candle here. Okay, let's see what else the universe would like for you to know. The healing of the heart. The time now has happened where we are ready. We are ready. We are healed. We have grown. We have matured, right? The egg, the egg of maturity. The time is now. We've learned. We've conquered. We've prayed. We've prayed and we've gone into the depths of our emotions to find ourselves again. We have found something, Libras, many of you have found something that you lost. It's coming back. Yes. You're going to be celebrating and victorious. Victory at last. That's what I heard. Victory at last. It has not been an easy journey. It's not an easy journey for anyone going through that. Hello. See? No more toxicity. Libra is not putting up with any more toxic relationships or toxicity of any kind. Friendships, nothing. We're done. And you're going to shine your light for all to see. A new relationship coming in, a new partnership, whatever that is to you. Partnering up with someone. Two threes. Oh, three threes. So this is definitely being guided by the angels. The angelic realm is 333. You can Google it. And also the eight. The lessons and all that you have learned has been, has been from the universe. Everything that you have learned and you're going to be shining your light for the world to see, you're doing it.
your star is shining, you're leveling up, you've learned, you've conquered, you've achieved. Happiness. Happiness in your own self. Blessings are being given to those Libras who have learned how to manage and gain perspective of a new life that is all about happiness and trusting in the universe completely. Taking your power back. This is the wisdom that you've achieved. This is you. This is your higher self merging with you. Strength, wisdom, power, empowerment. The universe, number eight, spirit guide. Wise old soul, not necessarily old in age. We don't talk about age as much as we talk about the wisdom and maturity that you have learned from all that you have gone through, okay? All right, love, let's talk. Talk about love. Let's talk about love, right? Let's see if I can get through this. Hold on. Okay, that gives us more light. Great. A little glare, but I'll, I'll, I will make sure you can see the cards, okay? I'll actually keep the cards up so that you can see. All right, so Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is happening for love? It looks like amazing love. Wow. Wow. Some of you Libras are getting proposed to. Some of you are solidifying your marriages, getting back out there and, you know, renewing your vows if you've been together for a while. This is a couple that she is looking, the feminine is looking at the masculine like, oh my God, is this for real? Is this for real? Right? Wow. <laughs> okay, so paying attention to the red flags. What does that mean? Making sure that you do not, that you do not see a situation that is not, that is, I'm going to clarify this, but there's, someone is cautioning you here. All right, so there's red flags here. Let's stop real quick. Hold on one second. Let me turn the light on, okay? We need to get a better, thank you for waiting. Okay, we need to know what this red flags are, okay? So let me get, let's get two cards, two or three cards I'm hearing, okay? Because we've been through a lot. So we don't want anyone coming in Make sure someone that you're that you're going to be dealing with is not married already. All right, what are, three cards? What is the pay attention to the red flags? You don't want to get hurt. Maybe the red flags. Okay, so you may want to ensure that you don't get hurt again. Maybe you're scared. Okay, maybe you're fearful of getting hurt again. Don't worry, don't worry. The light of happiness, the planets are aligning exactly the way that you're supposed, to, the, the change that's happening. You may be fearful of this is too good to be true. You're thinking, could this be real? That's how I'm feeling right now. Thank God the sun card came out again. There you are. Okay, so this is about you. All right, Libra, this is about you thinking, could this be for real? Could this be real? So let's just make sure that we stay. The planets got, the planets are, are completely aligned here. All right, You're, you have already cut through the crap. So just make sure that you, you do not think this into 
for into a, you know, you're not going to use your, I think you just think the bubble's going to burst. That's how I really feel. Someone might be offering you a future here. Look it. You may be offered marriage, a proposal, and you may just be scared because maybe you can't believe this is actually happening, okay? But it's about you. So the universe is saying, don't worry, Libra, because the sun is right here. And this is coming from the universe. So don't be scared of it. All right, let's get a couple more. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Look it. Maybe you're being asked and or proposed to, and you're going on honeymoon. Maybe you're renewing your vows. I mentioned that before. Or maybe you just needed to take a much needed vacation with someone, right? Go get together, go, go somewhere. Uh, Okay, you think, I think you feel like this, see, this person could be the one and you're scared. Yep, you're fearful. And so that's why the fear card came out. You're scared that it's too good to be true and that you're like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna do because this could be the one. And it came out as a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, yep. Someone may be going to Italy, others are from Italy, maybe you're just going to Venice, or maybe they're Italian, I don't know. But you are definitely, this is the gondola, and you're going to, you're going to connect with someone and it's going to scare you. Yep, it's going to scare you because they're, they have, they have all the right, they're saying all the right stuff and they are showing you the way that you want to be treated and you're just fearful of that. That's the red flags. But don't be fearful, Libra, because the universe is saying you're not going to get hurt again. Allow this happiness. Be happy. Right? It's a long time coming, Libras. It's a long time coming. All right, before it gets too dark. <laughs> and I have the light on, but I don't have it on... Obviously, it's not on my highest. Um, it's okay, because the light always shines. You're just going to be scared because you can't believe this is actually happening to you. That's what's going on right here. And this is going to be amazing. All right. Let's get one card from the Ascended Masters and or the Archangel Michael. Yes. You need to trust in heaven. Archangel Michael has the shield of the sword of protection. Always protecting. Always protecting the Libra. If you're worried, don't worry at all. Because Archangel Michael is saying, you are safe and the angels stand close. Which we know, right? This is the angel showing you the way forward. Your guardian angels are always around you. Surrender your concerns, and this is what this is. You don't want to get hurt. You're scared you're going to get hurt. You're scared that something's going to happen. It's not, so don't manifest it. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Wow, I am so glad I didn't stop this video. This is, it's a miracle. You're going to say it's a miracle, and this is the one. So many Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, you are going to be ecstatic. Miracles abound. You've done your work. Don't fear anything. Have a great month. Love and blessings to you.